I am Don from Don Does Stuff. So, had a failure on our pool Roomba a few minutes ago. Now, fortunately, it was uh, pretty clear that the machine wasn't working in the water. Um, I pulled it up towards the surface and could see that the little treads and sponge things weren't moving. Um, and also could see that the drive belts inside the yellow drive belt were all bojangled, I'll say. Now, fortunately, since this was a replacement one um, for a previous one that had failed, I had scavenged all the parts for from that uh, previous one, and lo and behold, I have new drive belts. Well, new old ones, and uh, so I'm going to replace those right now. So here's the beast. So I could see that there was water being forced through that, which is normal, which is great. So the motor was working. But these drive belts on both sides were not moving. These sponge things that are attached to that were not moving. So I noticed, where is it? Oh, there it is. Okay. So on this side, the motor drives, which comes out of there, let's see if I can focus down in there. Yeah, so there's two little, um, so there's two little wheels down there that drive these timing belt kind of things, and it looks to me as though there's supposed to be two, one for one side and one for the other side, and uh, so they're attached. So one's there, and that, that's the only one that was left, but it's it's either broken or off its sprocket down there. And the other one's just completely seems to be uh, broken and, and tied around the, the middle of that thing down there, the drive shaft. The other side is just, it doesn't have the, the, uh, the wheel that's driving it. So, so the good news is, as I said, I have two of these things from an older unit. And they look in reasonably good shape. Good and flexible, no brakes or anything. So I'm going to take this side off take this side off where the drive shafts are and hopefully be able to access it. Now, so I took the filter unit out and I can see that there's four screws. One, there's another one up here. One, two, and same on the other side. So it should be simple enough. So yeah, that those four screws did in fact allow this side to come off and now so first of all I've got all these loose little idler wheels and you can see that the old drive shaft the drive belts are pretty messed up so I'm gonna put on the new old ones and we'll see what happens see if I can figure out where all these idler wheels are supposed to go <laughs> so yeah the replacement drive belts just go on there and they're loose and you just have to figure out these things as I said but they go on pretty well I just have to kind of finesse them around different pieces here to make sure they fit on where does this go oh I see it was, ugh, this is gonna be interesting to try to re <laughs> reassemble that side but shouldn't be too bad um, this thing popped out in the process this whole assembly I don't want to take it off again but it is the main drive we uh, drive drive wheel I guess and it attaches to the motor just kind of pushes into place kind of tricky the key thing is that there's two of these things they have different sized ends the smaller end appears to fit over a little nub because it there okay so those go on there and all these four idler wheels are gonna go onto these long pegs. Okay. And then this thing go the uh, drive wheel goes one side on the outer sprocket and one on the inner sprocket and then there's idler wheels here one that is long and one that is short. See? So the long one goes on this side, goes on this side in this orientation, 
and pushes that drive belt this way and it goes roughly there and then the other one goes in the same location to push the close the inside drive belt and keep it under tension and uh, but it goes there and somehow those four those four pegs are going to help to or make all those things line up so I can't hold the camera and do all this at the same time so let's see so I've put the four idler wheels on the pegs there in the right orientation and I've put the whole machine on its back I've discovered another thing this drive tread here goes over top of these sprocket things on both sides and they appear to keep it in tension somehow so that's going to be lined up on there like that and to make sure that that's actually on there see and this this one moves I guess they both move and they're they're gonna fit into those holes so these pegs have to fit into those holes Wow okay so I'm gonna put this over top of that so that all lines up all right Let's see how this works. Okay, so I got it on. My rec it, it is not easy. My recommendation is get everything in the right spots. Notice that the those little idler wheels for the drive belts, the yellow drive belts, are under underneath, pushing upwards on those yellow drive belts on that side and on this side. So get it all lined up, everything in place with these main um, sponge things off. There's a little rounded axle that pops into the dark gray part. So have them all loose, put the, the treaded part here on top of everything else because underneath, see the drive belts are underneath there. And then one side at a time, pull it and pop it into the into the socket at the end of here and then do the same thing on the other end over here and it it does work it can be done it's not easy it might take you a while um, so I'm going to put those screws in keep in mind that the the um, pan head ones go on on the bottom down there not up here and off it goes well, I'm guessing I did it right. <laughs> well, there we have a replacement of drive belts on an iRobot Vero, or as I call it, a pool Roomba. It's still working. <laughs> I shouldn't say that out loud, right? <laughs>